Good evening, spells, and welcome to Caster's Magic. Here are the trigger warnings associated with DDLC. Self-harm, suicide, child abuse, child neglect, bullying, arguments, unsettling use of AI, and psychological horror. That being said, let's begin. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I am excited to play this again for you guys. I have caffeine, I have more caffeine. <laughs> Hopefully I will not start dying halfway through this recording session uh, of exhaustion. <laughs> um, as you can see, I also have my new, uh, quote unquote new, it was made at the same time as the last one, but my other uh, Doki Doki Sprite uh, in the corner here. <clears throat> and uh, here we go. No, not new game. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. That's not what I meant to do. Are you sure you want to? Yeah, I don't, I don't want this progress. Wow, guys. I'm sorry. That was... I am smart. Okay. Hint, you can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Cool. So I can do that. <clears throat> um, later when um, stuff happens. Okay, we're going for Sayori. So... Okay. Oh no! Special. There we go. A promise. Damn it. I, I love you, Natsuki, but not right now. <laughs> not right now, babe. Um, fun. Precious. This is a lot of... Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is a lot of Yuri. <laughs> Um, analysis, sweet, marriage, candy, <coughs> fuck. heart, rain cloud, skipping, defeat, are you okay, Sayori? <laughs> Disarray, no, um, charm, depression, cheeks, cute, fuck, insight, son of a bitch, comfort, laugh, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi there. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Uh, Monica's not gonna have a consistent voice. Sorry guys. <laughs> Don't worry. I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe. Not determination. But I guess passion. There it is! There it is! There it is! I just had to get started. <clears throat> uh... Remember that a club wouldn't that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh oh. <clears throat> I forgot about Natsuki and I just drank from sugar. Fuck. Uh <clears throat> Ah I can't wait for the festival. Ooh. It's gonna be great. Uh, weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? 
well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But that's... But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a little bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? That is a good question. Um, I think they do normally, but... Squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. What? Hold on. Pardon me, I'm about to Google some shit. Because uh, that's confusing to me. Monica. Oh no, I had caps lock on. <laughs> Hindi, English, Sanskrit. Wow, holy shit. Japanese. Hope, wish, desire. Mon, maybe? Tsuki. Tsuki in Japanese is what? I should know this. Oh, wait, no. Steamed fish paste cake? What? Okay, never mind. Never mind. That It just doesn't make sense in translation. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, no, not history. There we go. Uh, oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that face before. I've never seen her confused. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Oh! <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Monica, but why would you know that? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as... Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's and Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk, in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little bit off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. No. Nope. Nope. Papa Cass is coming back in. No. If your friend's behavior is off, look into it. Cannot express that enough. If something is off, if something doesn't feel right to you about your friend's behavior, about your family member's behavior, say something. Insist. Push. Even if it's just something like, I've had a real bad day and I just, I'm not feeling it. You could, give, you could give them an out. You could give them something to talk about instead. Something to distract themselves. Do not brush off their behavior if it is different or odd or uncomfortable. Ever. Anyway. <laughs> if you say so. I worriedly... Uh, worriedly? 
Yeah, weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already disappeared, dispersed, wow. With everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through the same... I'm sorry, threw some papers at her desk. Cass, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. I do that all the fucking time. Maybe not at my desk, but like I did back back in the high school. If I was bored or irritated, I would just um I would draw with my hand or with an eraser. I said all that to stall so I could take my medication. <clears throat> Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Cass. You certainly know a lot about her. I'm sorry, you certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know this isn't your problem. <laughs> I just- I wanted to ask if... You knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Cass. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Uh, uh. She's been much happier since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sierra's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it was then. <laughs> You're so funny, Cass. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. <laughs> I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so... You should just forget what I said. Forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, and... So try not to think about it for now. Ugh. All right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to, to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear hear her from here. 
I sigh and sit myself down. I know I know I know, <laughs> I know Sayori told me uh not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But it's that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh so, weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the only one. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? <clears throat> I read that in my voice. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. I want to do Yuri first, because she turned me away last time. Oh, is she going to do it again? Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes from her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. No! What the fuck? Okay, interesting. That's so weird. Okay, all right. Hi, Cass. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayori's been a little off today. Yeah? Did, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Cass, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, uh, of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. All right, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her. So keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier since you joined the club. What could have been, what could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Uh, all right. Oh my god. I've never read this poem before. The lady who knows everything. An old t tale tells of a lady who knows, who wanders earth. The lady knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found her, 
every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, the sky victim of the, of the curtains of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all has, when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Twi- twi- twilight? Twilight sky? I think? Maybe? Sorry. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather i dry a dry quill expressionless but a hand catches me between the, th the thumb and forefinger the hand of a beautiful lady i look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze the lady knows everything knows what i am thinking before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. I, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. Holy Okay, first of all, gorgeous. Gorgeous imagery. Love that. Second of all, uh... <laughs> I've never seen this before. I told you guys. Adventure, adventure, adventure. I'm excited. You know... I feel like learning about- learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. It was fucking gorgeous, Monica. Well done. Team Salvato. You've got some good writers on your team. Good god. That's some good shit. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose meaning? You know? There's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Oh my god, I'm getting so much text I haven't seen before because I'm playing it my way. Oh god! Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh... I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one dimensional? <laughs> I think she did, but she fucked up. Oh, uh, yeah, bad. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then your sharing becomes a lot easier. I'm so sorry, I'm struggling. I kept burping, oh my god. It was so rude. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you can work on. 
It's more, much, blah, blah, blah. it's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Monica. That's actually, that's incredibly good advice. Uh, coming from someone who enjoys writing themselves, that is incredibly good advice. Even having just your friends or your family look over your writing is going to be so much more um, productive because they know what you put into it. They know what you wanted to get out of it. They know what you wanted others to get out of it. They're going to be able to tell you what you need to do to get your message across, to get your story to the point you want it to be. They're gonna be able to tell you. That's why I show most of my writing to Pandora. She knows me. They know my writing. They know what I want to tell everyone. She knows that I've got something to say to the world. And she gives me those little, little, little important details that make it just a little bit better. So always, always, always know that you've got people, even if it's just your friends and family, that will be able to give you real constructive feedback that you can learn from. Anyway, <laughs> Natsuki, come here. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. <clears throat> This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh. No, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you end up just scaring me away? That's, uh, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun hanging out here, even if I have to put up with you. Ugh. Oh, that was her elbowing me in the gut. Gotcha. Ugh. There we go. That's the right sound effect. <laughs> Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh. Maybe I wouldn't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. <coughs> oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> See this, this right here is exactly the dynamic that Natsuki and I would have <laughs> if she was a real person. Anyway. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. Mm, do I want to do it in her voice? Uh, I, I, I've read this one before. I, I accidentally didn't do a voice for, for Monica's. <clears throat> I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your, well, yeah, that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond our sight, beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with bright, brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away. Nope. Before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the be your beach. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Breathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you, see you shine. 
Let's leave our memories. Let's leave your memories in a foot, footprint trail. Set you free in a windy sail. In my windy sail. Wow. Wow. I don't know how to read my writing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> and remember that the reasons you're wonderful. Remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your, yeah. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. That's really sweet, Natsuki. Aww, that's so cute. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. <laughs> Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later. Yeah, well... It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. I see. I don't really have much to contribute here since I didn't actually read Yuri's poem. Ah! That's fact! I didn't! I didn't get the chance to! <laughs> you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. Sorry, I breathed in wrong. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a, it was good practice. And now for Sayori. Okay. Oh, why the face? Sayori, no! This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Cass. Uh... Thanks. Mm hmm Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Huh? Of course! <laughs> Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Oh, well, alright. Again! No! That is not your response to that. Hey, Cass. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Interesting. Interesting that she says the way Yuri does and now I can't talk to Yuri anymore. I find that interesting. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes the one the mo this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength, or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No. Cass. 
I, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Now I'm gonna cry. Ooh! Hold on a minute. Sayori has trouble keeping her voice all of, steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori. I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself, herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Cass. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. I promise I won't have it again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori! Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. What in the fuck? Uh... I had a plan. <laughs> I plan with 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 certain scenes in mind, and now I'm confused because everything is going differently. Oh, okay. We're immediately getting into the adventure. <clears throat> Woo. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh. Oh, oh sorry. Eh. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't isn't immune to it. Uh Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to, to happen. And I don't know how to speak because fuck me, apparently. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh. It seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she isn't here, isn't around. Where the hell? Where the hell? Uh, where the hell? Where the hell did she run off to anyway? I'm just gonna run with that line because I said it anyway. I thought she was just. I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please slow. Please show some decency. Oh come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being, so, being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding our friendship with- misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? Is this a thought? Because this is the first time I'm seeing it in italicized text. Okay. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Oh yeah, it's because she's been avoiding me too. Calm down, guys. 
I talked to her earlier. Everything is fine. What did she say? No. Monica, what did she say? What did you say? What did you do? What did you do to my girl? What did you do, Monica? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. I... Now Natsuki's pouting, too. Jeez. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but... I can tell things are even harder on you now. Are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh... That may be the case. But if I can't... If I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that leaves you, Cass. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Monica's suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. And you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki, fuck. Natsuki, try <laughs> Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um... If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle this baking on your own. Cass might not- what in the hell? Sorry, my eyes are messing with the, the lines here in the light and moving them sideways. Cass might not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore... He may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Cass to- What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking- And baking isn't? Just what do you think- Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Cass to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? 
So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I... I I'm surprised as well. So sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Cass, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Mm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Ooh! But of course I'm going to go with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no, I... Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Uh, fuck, who am I going with next? Um, I think the next one is Natsuki. So, Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could- it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Huh? Just a minute ago you were saying that- That's because- <clears throat> Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. I'm so sorry, Yuri. I love you so much. Don't look at me like that. That's... good. I was gonna say! Why is she being so melodramatic right now? Like, she was just avoiding me, and then she wants my attention, and now that I don't give it to her again, she's like, mm, okay, fuck you then. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Cass? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it will turn out. <laughs> That's good enough. Fuck. That's good enough for me. <laughs> what about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still silking. Mm. Natsuki starts pouting too. Son of a bitch! It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Ugh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone and... and uh, everyone with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. 
Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Hmm. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, should be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at the time. At a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone's, everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being... dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got any reading. Got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for the weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have any chance, any way to contact me. Oh, that's, uh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her, gives me her number. Okay. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to... Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright. Fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you... Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm stretching. Oh, wow. My back hurts. Okay. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like... What? It's not like I could act like... In front of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got the got to bake with someone else before. That's all. That's all it is, so. Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday? Uh, never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming on coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would be would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. 
I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me that she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori... Why do I... <laughs> Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like I feel that way about... We feel that way about each other. Yeah, you do. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. I've been getting incredibly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit, and I am going to go ahead and say goodbye for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. All of my content is basically the exact same, and the bell ensures that you get notifications when I post. Since that's going to be more frequent, you might want to hit that bell. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, have a magical evening, and good night. Until night falls, <laughs> Ha <laughs>